What is up guys, Delboy here. Just a quick preview and prediction for Kuprat Pulev versus Huey Fury. Now this fight goes down on the 27th of October and it takes place in Sofia, Bulgaria. By the way, go to Bulgaria, really nice country. The women there are top notch and there's a lot to do in Bulgaria. It's a really nice country. It's really ideal for younger tourists, I've got to be honest. There really is a lot to do, so um, highly recommend it, you know. If you're looking at a lad's holiday, I'd certainly recommend it over the likes of Magaluf and places like that, definitely. But um, anyway, we're, we're getting sidetracked already. We're 40 seconds into the video, and we're getting sidetracked. Huey Fury versus Kubrat Pulev. Intriguing fight. Now, it's not one for the casuals. I think this is one for the purists. You know, neither guy are big punchers. Both guys like to use their jab. Both guys are primarily boxers, and both guys have a um, have good amateur backgrounds. Uh, stylistically, I don't think this is going to be a fight of the year, but I feel it's an intriguing matchup uh, nonetheless, and it's one I'm looking forward to. To me, this kind of all boils down to what Pulev has left, really. Um, I personally feel Pulev is on the way out, and he's got a lot of things going against him going into this fight. Um, firstly, he's like 37 years old. That's the first issue. The second issue is that he's been very inactive, you know. So Kubrat Pulev last fought in April 2017. He fought Kevin Johnson and he went the decision with Kevin Johnson. I felt Pulev looked bad in that fight. You know, he didn't get Kevin Johnson out of there and he looked really one-paced. It looked like he lost a step and it looked like he was on the way out, to be quite honest with you. A really disappointing performance against Kevin Johnson. Before that, in December 2016, he fought Samuel Peter, who is shot to bits. Again, you know, that wasn't even a competitive fight. And, you know, Pulev's last competitive fight was in May 2016 against Derek Chisora. So, listen, Pulev is getting on in age. He's 37 years old. He's been inactive and he's not been fighting good competition. Not only that, as far as I'm concerned, he hasn't got any better since the defeat to Vladimir Klitschko. In fact, I think he's getting worse, and um, you know he, he's not improving as a fighter. So I think Pulev going into this fight has a lot of negatives going against him, as far as I'm concerned. One positive is, you know, he is fighting at home, so anything close, you would imagine, will go to Pulev. So he does have that going for him, but in terms of form, you know, he's not been looking good. In terms of age, he you know, he he's getting on in years and um and he's been and he's been inactive. So yeah. There's it's hard to get excited about Pulev going into this fight. And don't get me wrong, Huey Fury he, he's not exactly been active, you know. He's only fought twice in um in a year. You know, he fought Parker in September twenty seventeen. And he fought Sam Sexton in May 2018. So he's only fought twice in a year. But, you know, Huey, he's only 23 years old. The inactivity is not really going to affect him quite as much, in my opinion. Inactivity is never good. But, you know, for a 23-year-old like Huey Fury, who gets access to really good sparring with Peter Fury, I don't think it's going to play that much of an issue for him, to be honest with you. You know, Huey does a lot of his learning in the gym with access of good sparring. So, you know, I don't think it's going to affect him quite as much. And I actually make Huey the favourite in this Pulev fight. And I'll tell you why. Huey, for what it's worth, does have quick feet. He's got good feet, you know, really good footwork. And he's got quick hands. Pulev has slow feet, you know. He, he, he's got really slow feet and I don't think his footwork is especially good. Pulev also has slow hands with a relatively low punch output. I feel Pulev is there to be outworked and outmaneuvered by a quicker, younger, fresher guy like Huey Fury. And, you know, Huey uses a lot of lateral movement with his feet, you know. He also uses a lot of head movement, uh, upper body movement. He really makes for an elusive target, you know. Joseph Parker, he was struggling to find the target and he's a lot more offensive than Kubrat Pulev. Uh, Pulev is a guy who likes to come forward, uh, use his jab, he likes to fence with his jab um, and try and find that right hand behind it. And that's pretty much his game, you know, and I, I really think he's going to struggle to 
judge range and find the target against Huey Fury because you would imagine Huey is going to play to his strength and you know be elusive, move backwards, uh, you know jab off the back foot, and he that's that's what that's the way Huey is going to approach it. And you know if you look at Pulev's fights, if you look at all the fights he's looked good in, so the Ustinov fight, the Dimitrenko fight which are arguably his best performances, you know, those guys are guys who stand in front of you, no head movement, no waist movement, slow feet, slow hands, they're there to be hit, you know, big upright guys. You know, Pulev is going to look good against those guys. If he can dictate with that jab and find that right hand behind it, you know, he's going to look good, but he's never fought anybody with the sort of uh, elusive movement of Huey Fury. And, you know, Vladimir, he's not a Huey Fury by any means. You know, he's a, he's a totally different fighter, but he's got quick feet and he's a good judge of range. And it rendered sort of, um, it rendered Pulev completely and utterly useless, let's be honest about it. And he got destroyed. Yes, Huey is a, is a different fighter, but, you know, Pulev is going to have some of the same issues in terms of finding range and getting his shots on the target. He really is going to struggle to land on Huey. And listen, Huey Fury is not an offensively gifted fighter, or he's not shown that in the ring yet anyway, you know, he doesn't pull the trigger nowhere near enough, he doesn't sit on his punches enough, but, you know, Huey, even even with that flick jab, I think he can outwork Pulev, just by pick, uh, popping that jab, uh, dropping the jab from head to body, keeping Pulev guessing, I think he can just outpoint Pulev by doing that, you know, throw the odd right hand here and there, uh, that right uppercut as well was a good punch by Huey Fury, you know, land some of those eye-catching right hands, and if he does that, if he keeps Pulev moving, I think he should win this fight with relative ease, actually, I don't think Pulev is going to be good at chasing a fight, especially at his age, and even when he was younger, you know, it wasn't really his skill set anyway, and Pulev's not a big puncher, so I can't see him knocking Huey out. Uh, the only way Pulev wins this fight, as far as I'm concerned, is by a dodgy decision. So I'm going to go with a Huey Fury points win. That's my prediction. How do you guys see this fight going? Peace.